Have you ever seen a picture of a shepherd with sheep? Almost always, the shepherd carries a stick like this with a crook around the top. And in fact, even if you go to places now where there are shepherds, they'll have some kind of stick. And what they use it for is that they use it to make sure the sheep stay in line and to protect them and even to fight for them if they get into trouble. Because this is, a, this is quite a weapon. In other words, if a wolf came up to try to attack a sheep, you could swing this and really hurt something. So he's protecting. But the other thing that he's doing, and this is actually what the story is this morning, the story of Jesus and Peter, is that when you get far away, and you don't know how to find your way back, Jesus comes and rescues you. Let me show you how it works. Will you help me with this? What's your name? Vincent? Okay, Vincent, I want you to stand up. You just come with me. Come out here. You guys turn around so you can see what's about to happen. Now, here's the story. As I said, first of all, this can be a weapon to fight. If you're... But the other thing it is, is that it's to rescue. So turn around and start walking that way. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> That's what he does. In fact, if, if Winston, if you were a sheep, what the shepherd would actually do is put this around the hind leg. I won't do that. And, and sort of pull it back. And that gets the sheep all, oh my gosh. And turn around. And because the sheep actually want to follow what the shepherd is. But sheep are, sheep are not very smart. We're sheep. And what sheep can do, and sometimes there are certain dogs that are like this too, when they get going this way, they forget what's behind them. And so what the shepherd has to do is catch them, and as soon as the sheep turns around, it's like, oh, that's right, I'm supposed to be with you, aren't I? And then they come back really very willingly. But they have to be brought if they get distracted and start going that way. I had a golden retriever like that one time. So what this story is about is about Jesus, because he loves Peter so much, he wants to bring him back. You see, Peter denied Jesus three times. Remember? When he was at the trial, and Peter said, I don't know him. And so Jesus comes back and creates this whole scene around breakfast, cooking fish along the side of the lake. To remind, Jesus, remind Peter about who Jesus is, which is why there's this huge miracle of fish, but also to restore him and to bring him back, which is why he asks the question, not will you obey me, but do you what? Love me. Because what Jesus wants more than anything is that we love him. That's actually more important than anything else. And that's why he asks him. And he asks him three times as a way to say, see, I know you love me. You have three denials. They're in the past. It's over. Come. I have work for you to do. So he forgives him and he gives him a new job. And that's what Jesus does. He restores, he forgives, and he gives us something brand new to do. And if we get distracted, he knows how to pull us back. That's it. Thank you. <laughs> Now, did they go somewhere? Or what's happening? Meg's going to take them. What? Meg's going to take them. Meg? You go with her? Come with me. I'm going to go with you.